Assignment research tips. This is Mary. Mary starts researching her assignment by googling her assignment topic. She gets billions of results, very few of which look suitable for a university assignment. What should she do? This video will give some valuable tips to help you and Mary get started with your assignment research using the library. The mistake Mary made was to jump straight into searching. You need a good understanding of what your topic is about and what you're being asked to do before you start to research. Make sure you read the essay instructions and the assignment marking criteria in detail. Ask yourself, who is the audience? What do I need to cover? When is it due? Why has the lecturer set this piece of assessment? How does it fit in with the course objectives? Where will I find relevant information? Then, analyse your topic. Circle the task words. This is how you're expected to approach the assignment. Underline the main topic words. These are usually the nouns. They will become your search terms. Put brackets around the limiting words. This could be the type of information required, a location, or a date range. Background reading will help you get a better understanding of your topic. Subject-specific encyclopedias will help provide an overview of the subject and dictionaries will explain terminology you're uncertain about. Key encyclopedias and dictionaries are available online and are listed on the library's subject guides. Check recommended texts and readings for your course using your My Library page. Think about the types of information sources you might use for your assignment and where you'll find them. Books provide in-depth coverage of a subject. Find these by searching Summon or the Library Catalogue. You will often be expected to use scholarly journal articles. Journal articles differ from magazine articles because they are written for an academic audience and are often based upon research. Find them by searching Summon or a library database like Business Source Complete for Business or PsycInfo for Psychology. Specialist information like statistics, newspaper articles, cases, company information and patents may be needed. Find out more about these resources on the library's how-to guides and subject guides. The internet can be useful for finding government reports and conference papers. Search for .gov websites or PDFs. To locate scholarly information on the net, try searching Google Scholar. When you research, you must critically evaluate the information you find. Be extra careful when using internet sources. Sometimes your lecturer will request that you use peer-reviewed journal articles. But what are these? Peer-reviewed articles are scholarly journal articles that have been subjected to a review process before being published by experts in the same discipline. Because they are assessed for quality and the rigour of their research, they are usually of a high standard. Some databases will allow you to limit your search so that you find scholarly resources such as these only. Before you start searching, plan your search strategy. The more care and thought you put into your search, the more relevant your search results will be. To identify your search terms, look at the topic words you underlined in your assignment topic. Think of any synonyms or related terms for these. For example, you may also want to try searching with these terms. Here are some useful search techniques you might want to use. A truncation symbol, which is usually an asterisk, will broaden your search to include plurals and various word endings. For example, when you use a truncation symbol at the end of the word ethic, it will find all words that begin with those letters. There are also symbols that you can use for differences in spelling. To search for both the British and the American version of the word organisation, put a wildcard symbol, usually a question mark, where either letter could be. Truncation and wildcard symbols do vary across databases, so check the database's help if you're unsure. Another technique for getting a more focused search is to use inverted commas around phrases. This will ensure that the database will search for those words together as a phrase. Now that you have your search strategy, you're ready to start searching. Here's an example of a search done in Summon. To access the full text, click on the yellow online icon. Note that you can refine your search to scholarly publications and by specific subject terms. You can also refine by date. If you want to try your search in a library database, recommended databases for your topic appear in green at the top of the screen. Recommended databases are also listed in the library subject guides. 
When you search a library database, you may need to use connecting words to combine your search terms. The connecting word AND between your terms will find both terms. Use the connector OR between your terms to find either term. Use this when you're searching with synonyms. Here's an example of a basic search done in a library database using the connecting word AND. Most databases will also have an advanced search screen that can help guide your search. Here's an example of a search using the advanced search form. You can select the operator you want from the drop-down box between each search row. Put different topic words on different lines using the connector AND in between. If you have synonyms for any of the topic words, put them in the same row. Make sure you use the OR connector between synonyms or related terms. For more information about searching the catalogue, summon or our library databases, ask the library or see the library website. 